Hi, this is Scarlett, and uh, I've been away for a while, so uh, I should explain myself. Uh, I took a bit of a, a break from uh, from the online community, and lots has happened. I moved house. This is this is my new house, and uh, I now have somewhere to put my mannequin, my beautiful mannequin. So rather than it being stuffed in a corner, uh, it's now displayed in a corner. So yeah. So I moved house, um, I have a new partner, his name is John, he's lovely, and I also have a new puppy, so uh, this is my new puppy. Come on! Hello puppy! Oh, okay, fine. So yeah, so I have a new puppy, she is, uh, here she is, there we go. So this is the Scarlet Puppy, you see, I've uh, got a red head, and um, her, her name is Nuka Cola, she's named after the brand of cola in Fallout, which is my son's influence, I, yeah, he, uh, he wanted to name her after the dog in Fallout, but the dog's name is Dogmeat, so I was like, <laughs> so this is Nuka Cola. And she is wearing this, this beautiful onesie made out of uh, a sock because she is, uh, she became a lady dog and she's actually on her lady time, aren't you, honey? So yeah, so what we get for one week, she gets for three weeks, but it's only twice a year. So yeah, so she is wearing this beautiful onesie, which uh, my partner says makes her look like one of Madonna's backing singers. So yeah, excuse the, the dominatrix outfit. She has to wear panty liners. So. Yeah, it means she gets to go on the sofa. You're not gonna come back? You're gonna come back and see everyone? Because you're much cuter than me. Come on. So yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah. I am back and I've decided to do something that I have never done before and that is to wear other people's corsets. So I, I make corsets, that's my thing if you don't know me. <coughs> uh, but yeah, I've never properly corset trained and I've never, I've never had any recommendations to give anyone. If they've, they've come to me and said, I can't make my own corsets or I don't want to. I don't have the time, uh, who do you recommend I buy from? And I've never been able to, to say, you know, definitively, yeah, I've tried this brand and they're good. So I'm going to be trying out a few different brands and I'm going to, for the first time in my life, be properly corset training. So I've, I've corset trained a bit, as in, like, I've given up after a week a couple of times. I'm one of those people that kind of goes, oh my god, this is awesome. Okay, uh, let's start wearing this, and then a week later it's like, oh, another shiny thing. So yeah, um, very bad at sticking to things. Prefer the making of corsets to the wearing of corsets, definitely. But uh, yeah, all that is going to change now. We are going to uh, basically do a warts and all uh, corset training diary. So from the point of view of a beginner, uh, I am going to try out a few different brands different price points so the first one we're going for is around the hundred dollar mark uh, just over and I'm going with uh, timeless trends bought through Lucy's corsetry now the great thing about ordering through Lucy's corsetry is that you can send her your measurements and she will tell you uh, what she recommends which is you know uh, invaluable when you are starting out so if you're new to corset training I highly recommend going to Lucy's corsetry and uh, checking out the corset she has there. Uh, Lucy is uh, my friend, uh, my filia and the person I know who owns the most corsets ever. <laughs> I don't think I know of a single brand that she hasn't uh, tried out so yeah if Lucy says it's good, you know it's good. So I have uh, I've ordered a couple of corsets through her, and um, she uh, I was going to go with the slim sil slim silhouette 
so um, kind of not not too curvy, not extremely curvy, like a, the slim silhouette to kind of ease me in, um, and the long line to kind of cover the stomach and hip area. But uh, she recommended the standard length in the more curvy hourglass. So what I've done is I have both because. Um, Lucy actually absorbs the extra shipping fee if you order more than one corset, which is awesome. I'm in the UK, so I save $20 on shipping, which is really cool. Thank you, Lucy. But yeah, so those are the, the great reasons to buy through Lucy. So I know I have the right size, and I know I have um, the right corsets, and I know they're going to be good. So we're going to be unboxing those in a minute. They have turned up. Um, so yeah, the whole point of this project is um, to keep a diary so that people who are new to corset training, they kind of can can follow me and see how how it goes and uh, kind of what to expect. Um, the second reason is obviously to try out some different brands so that I have something to recommend if people uh, don't know, you know, don't want to make a corset themselves and they ask me, you know, have you tried any brands? I can say yes. And the the third reason is because I, I actually want to, to properly corset train and I want to um, test out a few myths like um, the rib shaping, does it go away if you stop wearing a corset, uh, can you spot fat reduce and uh, obviously debates rage on and various different people say yes, various different people say no, so I'm going to try that one out. So uh, I'm a, I'm actually a really good candidate for this. I'm about to turn 32. I've had a kid. My son is 12. Yes. Um, I have kept a weight diary for at least the last three, three or four years, just kind of on my phone. So I know kind of exactly what weight I am now. Uh, I've put on about a stone over the last six months. So. I'm, I'm now 10 stone, um, 0 0.2, I'll, uh, I shall put the details on my blog, but yeah, I, I keep it all stored in my app, so, and I've actually got pictures from uh, when I was about 9 stone, so I'll dig those out, so I have pictures of what I look like at, say, my goal weight. I have taken some lovely pictures of what I look like now, they're very scary, I'm going to put those up on my blog so you can see everything, um, and then as I move back to toward Nine Stone wearing corsets we can see if the corseted me at the same weight as the normal me uh, look any different, so I think that'll be a, a really good case study, now I've just got to find the photos, but yeah. So. It's, it's basically a journey for me, uh, information for you, and uh, a chance to test out and wear some corsets for other people. So yeah, it's going to be fun. And uh, it's so much fun that Nika has fallen asleep. Nika spends her whole life asleep, either, either asleep on my lap or asleep on the windowsill, or, or on the windowsill barking at puppies that walk by. Oh, she protects the house from the poodles. So anyway, we're going to go and unbox the corsets now. I think I have um, covered all the information I wanted to. This is going to be a completely warts and all. I'm, I'm not going to bother like, really editing videos because it's going to be daily. And uh, yeah, so you have to get used to me without makeup on, without my hair done. And uh, you're just going to have to put up with small dogs squeaking toys and, and jumping in. Oh, they're looking like Madonna. So. Me and Madonna are going to go and unbox a corset now, aren't we? Well, I am. You're probably going to go back to sleep on the window sill, so. Say so good, say goodbye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, so here is my delivery from Lucy's Corsetry and Timeless Trends Corsets. And I am very excited to I'll only be getting corsets from Lucy. I've never done an unboxing video, so I thought I'd give it a try. 
And it means you know what you're getting if you order corset from Lucy in the mail. So I have ordered two corsets and two corset liners and Lucy put in some extra laces for me which is really nice of her. So let's have a look at the liners first. I ordered um, a small and an extra small. So the small was like the size that it recommended for me and I got an extra small as well which is this so this one is a small by the looks of it yep so that's the small and this is the extra small this trend extra small and they just go under your corset to protect it and so you want something smaller than you are so that it stretches and you don't get wrinkling under the corset so they feel nice they're cotton and uh, let's open the corsets so the great thing about ordering from Lucy is that you can give her your measurements and she will give you her recommendations. So I was going to get a, a long line slim silhouette corset and she suggested um, the standard length hourglass. So I've actually got the both of them so that I can compare. So this is the regular length and that's the hourglass shape so it's a bit curvier than the slim line and I got both of them wait I got this one in the 24 inch and I think I got the other one in a 26 inch so the plan is to start off with the long line and kind of ease my way into it So this would be the long line. And the long line has hip ties so that you can alter your hip size a bit. Bit of extra customization, so it's going to be interesting to see how how they go for me. I do actually have one hip bigger than the other, and I'm hoping to uh, to correct that. But possibly while uh, breaking in my corset, if I leave that hip looser, I'm less likely to have the corset kind of go ski whiff on me, and kind of. I'm going to try things out and see how they go. So there are my corsets. They're very strong and robust. <laughs> yeah. So next I'm going to break them in and you can follow me on that journey. This is a gorgeous brocade. I'm loving that, it's a rose design. And this one is two-tone 
and that is uh, just down as iridescent burgundy underbust hourglass. So yeah, so this is the 24 inch waist and um, because this one doesn't come out so much at the hips and I'm going to use this as my starter corset because I was actually in between sizes. I could have gone up an inch for a 26 or down an inch for the 24. So I shall be starting with this one. So yeah, my first proper trip into corsetry. 